Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarikan. Welcome back to Last Generate Survival. So today I will be kind of expanding my base, and there are a couple of ways to expand your base. So first of all, you can build more chests, you can upgrade those chests. You can upgrade the small box to a chest, then to a, a trunk, then to a rack. So that's how we can store more storage. That's how we can have more loot. In the top right corner, there's this arrow that usually you click on this, and then you'll be able to upgrade your chest. Once you have these racks, you can upgrade those racks to a higher level. For that, you need to have 40 ash planks, 20 steel, and 30 iron plates. To get ash, you need to have ATV, or you can get some ash from the transporter. But once you have that stuff, you can upgrade some of those racks to like level 11, and then you can store 70 items in one cell. So that's what we will be doing today. But that's not the only thing. So for example, here I store 60 items. If I upgrade that to the 10th level, I'll be able to store 65 items. So each upgrade gives you five extra items in a cell. But I can also get more storage by getting rid of some loot. So I'm going to be purging some of these weapons today. So yeah, we're going to be purging them in a nice way. I would say we're going to go to this event. There's this Blackport PD event. It's still going to last for six hours. Usually we clear those 99 waves with the Brutalizer, but we don't have the Brutalizer. So we're going to be just blasting some of these weapons because we have a rack full of weapons here, here, here. We have a lot of melee weapons here. We have some guns here, and I'm pretty sure we even have guns here now. So we've done a lot of nice raids. We've gotten a lot of weapons. So why not use them on 99 waves? So we're going to be doing that very soon. But before we begin, the the purge, the ultimate pur purge, because it's kind of difficult to store these weapons as I don't have space for them anymore. So let's try to use them. But before we start using those weapons, let's go probably to the swamp, because there I'll be able to get some more ash trees and... Yeah, we just gotta get more storage. Today's topic is stores, ladies and gentlemen. And let's try to get some random weapons. Let's go to the swamp. Let's get a couple of uh, level 2 hatchets. And uh, let's begin. We're gonna get a few stacks of ash logs. We'll come back to the base because I haven't gotten ash trees actually in a couple of days. So that's not cool. Also, before we go anywhere, I'd love to start a... a, 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 a a fish buff. Let's start cooking the fish buff. So let's get... What do we need? A golden salmon. We actually don't really need a golden one. We can use a silver one. But we have some golden ones. So let's probably use those. 99 waves. Yes, we're going to start doing 99 waves today. Absolutely. We're going to clear those 99 waves. We have a decent amount of weapons. So we might as well just use those guns today on those 99 waves. But by clearing 99 waves, we'll get more blue and whatever other cards. And we'll get more guns. So, I don't know where I'll store that stuff later, but I will see. That's the problem for the future, Cyric. Right now, I need to get some mushrooms. Let's get a couple of shrooms. Let's get... What else do we need? Um, A carrot, probably, and a can of beans, and that's it. Let's get one carrot and a can of beans. We need purple. We might open up a purple card today, yes. That's how we're going to purge the guns. We're going to open up purple cards. Because they are the best way to purge your weapons. Maybe we will open up that purple card. We'll see. Alright, so we have one of these buffs here already. Let's start cooking another one. We'll dump all these items. Let's start the process. And let's go outside. Wait, before we go outside though, let's get the swamp suit. The ghillie suit, whatever you want to call it. Nobody calls it the swamp suit. I called it the swamp suit for the first time here. So let's get the swamp suit and let's go outside. Zombies don't see you as much when you have that swamp suit, when they have the ghillie suit, and with the boots you run a bit faster. So uh, there is that. Let's deal with the roaming zombie. Let's hop on the ATV. Hopefully we have enough fuel. We have an okay amount of fuel. We could get another stack of fuel. Also, we still have probably that greedy outside, so we could go outside and deal uh, with the greedy with the ATV. So we're going to kill the greedy. We're going to get a couple of caps. We'll get some ash trees and then we'll start getting ready to do those 99 waves and then we might do a raid. Because that's the plan. It's a good enough plan for now. That is a good enough plan for now. So welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Hello, hello everybody. Glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully all of you are having a fantastic day. Uh, let's
wanted to have here. Jessica, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream, showing my support. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You're watching the live stream is already enough support. Thanks for being here. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. And we're going to quickly deal with the greedy. Okay, that's the dude here. There we go. The dude's done. And the event is over, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Now we have to wait for two more hours. Do I even need to loot these chests? We're going to farm ash trees. So we don't really have to do anything. Okay, let's get out of here. Thanks once again, Jessica. Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I got the freaking purple card from the event. I can't believe it. You got two purple cards. That's awesome. Congrats on those purple cards then. Yeah, I still need 1,000 uh, clovers. So that's a lot of caps. I don't really focus too much on the event. But hey, congrats on the two purple cards. That's Bog. Do you have... Uh, do you take game recommendations? Yes, yeah, sure. Absolutely. If you'd like me to check out whatever games, then definitely let me know that. Maybe I've already even played that game. So, who knows? So if you have any recommendations, definitely shoot them in the comments. Shoot them in the live chat. I'll check out everything. Purple cards are a waste. There are ways if you exchange 10 blue for one purple. But if you get them for free, like from this event, for example, if you get those purple cards, if you don't exchange blue, but if you get those purple cards, then they are great. Then those purple cards are kind of great. Okay, we're going to split these caps just so that I can go on auto and gather these ash logs a little bit faster. So to those that have just joined, welcome, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you all over here. Hello, 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 hello. If you're watching this live stream after it's over, the pinned comments, you can find the timestamps and all the other stuff. And uh, today we're going to be clearing 99 waves. We're going to be purging the base because we have a decent amount of guns and I don't really have enough space to store more guns unless I delete some sort of a chest, which we do have a bit too much armor. So I should delete one armor uh, rack, but for now, I'm just going to purge some guns. When I was purging guns in the transport hub, that wasn't an issue. But I started using more melee weapons at the transport hub and... Actually, plus we've gotten a couple of nice raids in the past couple of days. I love PD live streams. We always have the best conversations. Yep. I totally agree. Live streams are all about conversations. The best live streams that I have are the ones where we have some pog topics. So hopefully we'll come up with some nice topics today as well. Like, for example, food. I have no idea. Food is always a nice topic. There's a new Ghostbusters movie. What? I haven't even seen old Ghostbusters. I don't know much about gold, uh, Ghostbusters. I just know that they were catching ghosts. They're, they had like some sort of a vacuum cleaner and they would always suck in that uh, ghost Casper or whatever. Like some sort of an... Yeah, they just get the ghost in their vacuum cleaner. So I've seen maybe like 10, 15 minutes of Ghostbusters throughout my entire lifetime. Was it a cartoon? I don't know. I don't know anything. Yes, the vacuum. Yep, they did have the vacuum. It's like, can you try on turn, please? It's a great game. Maybe I even have it on Steam right now. I think maybe I have an hour in unturned. If that's the if that's the same game that we were talking about. Maybe I will try Unturned one day. I can't promise though. It's like Minecraft style zombie shooter game, something like that, maybe. Which one is better, Bunker Bravo or Bunker Alpha? Bunker Alpha gets your loot, Bunker Bravo takes your loot. If you want to assemble your ATV, then Bunker Bravo is gonna help with that. Roblox style. Sure, my favorite game of all time is Roblox. Literally never played Roblox, never had Roblox, and I'm not I'm not planning to get it. 
Never. Never say never, but I'm gonna say I'm never gonna play Roblox. That's it. So yeah, these swamp bloaters do run differently now. They look like big toddlers, as some of you said. Swamp bloaters have become toddlers. Wouldn't it be awesome if, if instead of getting the silly lead ore crate, for those who don't know, you can get here a lead ore crate, and you can't really do anything with that lead anyways. It's stupid, but imagine if you could get like ash trees instead. You could fire up like some sort of a lumber mill that was already full with like, let's say wood, and it would cut everything into planks or something. I don't know, it would be cool. It would be way better if instead of the lead ore crate, we could get a better crate. Crate full of wood, it would make maybe much sense, but... We could be getting a bit better. More interesting resources, in my humble opinion. Let's get one more chest. Hello, hello, almost happy sight. What do you mean almost happy sight? Happy sight is always fully happy. Another day without without anything new and worthy in last and earth survival. Great day, peeps. Thanks, Mia. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I mean, we do have actually have some news about. Maybe they're not really related to last and earth survival, but guys, have you heard of Mini Life Tournament? It's a a new game that was being developed by Kefir, the same company that developed Last and Earth Survival, and I think today, in the morning, they said that they will cancel Mini Life Tournament. That game was supposed to come out on Steam, on mobile. I'm not really sure if they were planning to release it on console or not, but it was supposed to be on Steam. I think there was like Steam Fest demo, I did not try it then. But I wanted to check out the game on PC. I was waiting until it come out on PC to check it out again. But uh, apparently they are canceling it. What does that mean? I have no idea what it means. We can speculate maybe that, hey, maybe we'll get more updates in Last on Earth. Because the team will be freer. I doubt it though. Maybe they'll war move on to another project. Maybe... I don't know, I have hello, no idea. Hello, hello, almost happy Carrick. Another day without anything new and worthy in Aldo. Great day, Peps. Peps, Peps, thank you. Thanks, Mia, for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you, Pep. <laughs> Thanks for being here. So, yeah, so that game is canceled. I do know that some people liked Mini Life Tournament, so that's sad that they canceled the game. Absolutely. But maybe we'll get something epic from it. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to say, just kind of sad that they removed that game. They will stop working on it. I think it stops on May 20th or something like that, and according to their post. That the servers will stop working on May 20th. They haven't even released the game fully, so I don't know. Well, it is what it is. Those were the news that I had to give. They aren't really related to Last Dinner, but they're kind of like Last Dinner. Yeah, they're not really Last Dinner news. Just the news that... Kefir news. That's it. Are you gonna play more Day R Survival? I don't think I'll be playing more Day R Survival. I'm pretty sure. Maybe one day. I hope they divert focus to LDOE. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea, honestly. I do not have... A strong opinion about that. Mia, thanks for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream once again. Thanks for smashing the join button. All I can say though is that I hope that Last Earth will be getting more updates. But I've been saying that for a long time. For many years since the game came out. Yo, Jessica, thanks for being a member. Thanks for being a member for four months. Thanks for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The green army is growing. The green army? Welcome to the Cyric town. I am the mayor. I never fix any... Uh, any roads. We don't have any public transport. Heck, we don't even have roads here. But welcome to Cyric town. Once Last Earth ends, your channel would end. My life would end, Jayla. 
Don't underestimate Last Day on Earth. If Last Day on Earth ends, the channel would get a very massive hit. However, I have played a lot of different games here on the channel, so not everybody's here for Last Day on Earth, even if just a fourth of players stays. It'll be a nice starting round. Let's say my inventory is full, I cannot get more uh, trees. So how many trees did I get? Three stacks plus 15 ash logs. So the fish buff has given us 15 ash logs. Please tell me how to gamble efficiently. I have no idea. You'll need to do th some research on your own. I know when last night Facebook people are complaining new event is not free to play friendly, says Marcus. This event is weird. Some people are happy about the event because all you have to do is just kill greedy every two hours and you get like 140 caps, so that's very easy. Some people are sad that they won't be able to get all of these rewards here. My opinion, as I already said, the, the rewards are okay. You get 140 caps every two hours, kinda. I think you can do that three times a day. But the event is very short. And uh, there is no content. The event did not bring more content. So that's the biggest problem about the event. It's not even an event. Calling it an event is sad. Give me financial advice, says Jayla. <laughs> I don't have any financial advice, ladies and gentlemen. Blast all of your money on last and earth coins. Spend every dime you have on last and earth coins. Where did you get the information about the event on 29th of March? Uh, information? Uh, wait, I'm gonna sh show you. I didn't speak about the Easter event today, though. Right now, I didn't say anything about the Easter event yet. But I guess... I can quickly pull up the thing here, ladies and gents, boom. So it says that the Leprechaun's Lock event is going to last from March 17th to 22nd. And then we'll get the search for Easter eggs. And it'll take place from March 29th to April 3rd. So it's from the Last and Earth's developer's website. So we'll have to wait. Till March 29th. But it is. What it is. Okay, so we've just gotten some ash planks. Let's go quickly to the settlement. Let's get some work done there. And you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna start doing those 99 waves, ladies and gents. We'll begin the 99 waves. Is this your real free to play account? No, this is not my real free to play account. It was a meme and I cannot change my name again. Sadly, it's also less than a week. Yeah, the other event is also going to last for less than a week. It's weird that those events last only for for like six days. Why even bother with that event then? Have you heard of Age of Empires? I've played Age of Empires 4. Is it the same game? Age of Empires 4. Yeah, Age of Empires 4. I haven't played Age of Empires 2, but I have played Age of Empires 4. Maybe I have like 30, 40 hours in it. I have played quite a lot of Age of Empires at some point. Like off camera. And I know to some people like 40 hours maybe isn't a lot, but... That was a decent amount of time for me. Maybe I had even more. Maybe I had around 100 hours. I don't know. I did play some Age of Empires. But then I kind of stopped because... To keep up with that game, you'd have to, like, watch a lot of videos. It was, uh... It wasn't a relaxing game at all. I'd say it was pretty stressful. You constantly have to learn new strategies. You constantly have to improve. You're constantly on the edge. And, uh... Then I just stopped playing it for, like, a week or two weeks. And then they released a huge update, so I had to, like, relearn a lot of new things. And I was like, whatever, I just give up. I just couldn't keep up with it. 
But it's still awesome. I still like Age of Empires 4. I occasionally watch some Age of Empires 4 content. Beastie Cutie. If you watch Beastie Cutie, that's the dude where you can get awesome Age of Empires 4 content from. Any tips about the settlement? Uh, try to beat the survivor's path. And that's about it. If you want to progress any further in the settlement, then feel free to do it. But I don't really have any tips for that because it's pointless. You're not going to unlock anything new. You're not going to get anything better. So whatever you do there is just up to you. Because progressing further in the settlement will be just interesting. If you want to progress further, but I don't really have any tips for that because it doesn't really matter what you do there. You're not going to get better loot from progressing in the settlement. Um, I think we are ready. Let's start clearing those 99 waves. We do have some grenade launchers, so let's bring the nade launcher. Whereas before we bring the grenade launchers, let's bring some armor. I'm going to bring five sets of armor. I'm going to bring some healing items, and then we'll bring uh, two lockers full of guns, and then we'll start those 99 waves. This, this, and do we need, like... Yeah, we do have a lot of SWAT sets, so I might as well just use them. What else am I going to do with these SWAT sets, right? Once again, welcome to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. Can you store stuff in the ATV? You don't really have a lot of storage in the ATV. And you cannot upgrade your ATV. You can, weirdly enough, store more loot in your chopper than in the ATV. Doesn't make any sense, but hey, that's what it is. How to get this slots machine? You need to have 10 to 15,000 caps. If you don't have them right now, you won't get them. There's nothing you can do about that. Unless you buy them in the store. But that's not the answer. I just don't get it. They like these, for example, tungsten and many other things. For how long? Three years or longer? Why add something and in the same time it still isn't in the game? What's the point, says Mia? I don't have a slightest clue. I, I, I don't understand either. They have teased a lot of things. And... Uh, I mean, my only explanation is... Uh, to create hype like let's say they release a new location and they, 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 they show suburbs like maybe that'll cost a huge spike in in new players like oh my god the suburbs even though the suburbs are not here yet they haven't developed the suburbs yet so they are releasing updates to see what would stick before releasing the full update that'll be just my speculation so they show that hey suburbs are coming like Will the suburbs bring new players to the game? And uh, let's say the people weren't too hyped for the suburbs. Like, okay, we're not going to work on the suburbs. Then let's add another sneak peek next time. So next time, they'll, let's say they'll, sh they'll sneak peek, I don't know, uh, the mall, for example. The mall is coming soon, but it's, it's not in the game yet. Okay, so new players didn't come to the game for the mall. Okay, then the mall is not coming then. We're going to work on something else. That would be my only speculation. Doesn't make a lot of sense, though. I But they are trying to see maybe what would work before them actually putting in the work. Maybe that makes sense. Okay.
came to see you deleting those things, now do it. We're not deleting those things. We're gonna blast those guns at the police department. We're gonna purge the guns at the PD. I bet they've changed the team a lot, so they were always changing ideas and couldn't keep up with them. Yeah, they had so many ideas that we ended up with nothing. <laughs> That's absolutely the right take. They're so focusing on getting new players and start fresh. They are focusing on getting new players, absolutely. That's... That is very important for the game. Like, old players are very important too, but the, the new players are more important than old players. Like, old players don't really matter compared to new players. Like, that's just, again, my speculation. I'm not educated in that. But if you start the game la uh, right now from zero, you'll have a few months of content. Like, easy. You'll have a few months worth of content. So it's better to bring a new player than satisfy the old player. You've already played this game for a few months. You've already given them everything you can give. Players like me, we don't really matter that much. But again, that's just my theory, right? They're not gonna come out and say like, oh, old players don't matter. Like they'll say like, hey, of course old players matter. Everybody matters. Even though like old player is probably less valuable than a new player, maybe. I don't know, man. What do I know? Um, let's get a bunch of guns, and let's begin. I'm also gonna bring all the grenade launchers. Well, maybe not all, but just a couple of them. Uh, that's like five, six, seven, eight grenade launchers. Might not be enough. Do I have any... Thing in the inbox. Okay, we have 66 grenades there, so that should be enough. In case things go south, we have some nades. And perhaps I have some grenade launchers. And we have eight grenade launchers here. Yeah, we'll have enough of that stuff. Any tips for the laboratory? Clear A1 and A2 sector to get... The drone control uh, controllers. Flight controllers? Drone controllers? Whatever they're called. They don't say it, but they show it. I mean that the old players don't matter. I don't know. I mean, Last on Earth is a business after all. They're here to make money. And if new players are more worth it, then new players are more worth it, I guess. I don't know. As I said, that's just my speculation. I think I have to say that 13 times. Okay, let's bring this rack of guns, and then let's bring even more guns. What's your opinion on onions? It depends. Some onions are good, some onions are bad. Depends how you fry them. Maybe it also depends how you cut them. I used to not like onions. Now I don't really care about them that much. Because that's my entire opinions. That's my entire opinion. That's where my opinions end. That's what I wanted to say. I like raw onion. I like slicing onion and putting it on dark bread. It's alright. So this is full, this is full. Now let's get one more inventory full of guns. And then let's begin the purge. I can only eat grilled or sodded onions. What on earth is sodded onion? I can't do raw onions. I don't mind raw onions. As I said, putting them on bread with salt, they're kind of nice. Onion on bread, 100% Frenchman. 
I don't think they eat onions on bread in France. I spent 10k caps and got 4,500 clovers. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, you need 5,500, so hopefully you'll get more of those clovers to get the rest of the rewards. Saute, what it's, it says saute. I have no idea what that is. Saute. Saute, oh, that's what it is. To cook food in oil or fat overheat, usually until it's brown. Okay, saute. Interesting. Saute, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I don't know that many fancy words. Saute, just... Uh, yeah, I just know to fry. Fry, boil. That's all I know. That's where my cooking knowledge ends. I taught you a new word. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for educating, Cyric. I've heard that word actually a few times, but I never knew what it means. Well, I've learned something new today. Buggers. I'm going to get another row of uh, healing items. Do we need more? Maybe that's enough. The game is so much better now when you can upgrade all of these guns with one click of a button. The game is so much better now that you can craft, let's say, hatchets without, like, getting wood and stones in your inventory. So these small quality of life improvements have had made the game, have made the game so much better. Would be cool if they just kept adding those small quality of life improvements, like, every update. We don't have to, like, get a massive update every, like, six months. It can be, like, a smaller updates in between as well. I'd be happy with it. Not every update, like, has to have some new content. I get it. It would be difficult to bring new content every month. Like, we won't have space on the map. Like, quality of life improvements? Why not those? Those are cool. Let's get a new set of armor. Finally positive thoughts about last Earth. What do you mean, finally positive thoughts? There are always positive thoughts about last on Earth. Last on Earth is just one big positive thought. Because we don't have any content anyways, we can only think of the helicopter. That's where their only thoughts. In any case, let's go. And let's start those 99 waves, ladies and gentlemen. Let the purge begin. Sarcasm? That was a joke. Didn't It didn't start as a joke, but it came out as a joke, so I kind of liked it. By gods, for gods, yes. That should be their slogan, last on earth, by gods, for gods. I lost my mouse, okay, that's where we go. You forgot the medkit. Oh lord, what are we gonna do without the medkit? We do have enough medkits, I have a couple of medkits here and I have... I forgot actually food with me. That is problematic. Well, we'll get some consumables. We have like 457 raw meat in the inbox. That should be enough. To stall the hunger. Use landmines to clear waves. Okay. I'm not gonna do it, but I'll just say okay so that I am free. And I acknowledge the comment. Nobody can say that I didn't read it. Nobody can say that I ignore the comment. I'll say, okay, I'll clear landmines. I'll, I'll clear PD with waves. I'll clear PD with landmines. But I'm not gonna do it. Mostly because that comment had like uh, three dots at the end, four dots. Use landmines to clear waves, five dots. Like, wh why five dots? Why five dots at the end? Like, why is it so sad? Like, say like clear PD with landmines, triple dot. Like, why dots at the end of that sentence? Like, why? Why? But I, I will clear PD with mines. 
I never specified when. I will clear it a year ago. Um, I would use landmines if I were you, but you're not me. So let's start it, ladies and gents. Let's begin the 99 waves. So even if we die, we can still come back here because this event is still here. So there's that. How many dots we want? It's what we want. Okay. How do you get that many items in your inbox? Pay to win player. Developer sent me a lot of things. I didn't get anything on my own. Everything bought in the store or sent by the developers. I have nothing of my own. Every single piece of uh, grass, everything has been bought or sent to me for free. Hopefully that answers your question. If you have any other questions, let me know them in the comments down below. Or in the chat here. I'll make sure to answer that. Uh, let's get another... Wait, one gun already broke on wave 5? Ridiculous. Psycho's owner by Kefir. I'm not an owner, I am owned. That's... That's the better... Uh, verb. Looks like it'll get millions of years to get this many items. I've been playing this game for six years, so in six years you can definitely get a lot of loot. Just in six years, even if you don't play anything, in six years if you just log in every day, and uh, all you do is, let's say one rest up event, you get an airdrop. You get daily loot from the settlement. Just for six years, if you've been, if you're gonna get daily loot from the settlement, you will have a lot of loot, like an insane amount of loot. Wait, these rollers are also a bit different. They run a little bit differently, maybe. I think so. So yeah, these big zombies have a bit different running animation now. Clear waves with fists. Can't wait to do it. Use spread shots after the explosion. It's super satisfying. Thank you. Did you research oil pulling? Yes, I typed research. Uh, I typed oil pulling Reddit, and the uh, old posts that I found on it, they said that it's all uh, just pseudoscience. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I have nothing against that. I haven't tried it, so I can't say my five cents. But anytime I need to research something, I'll just type a question. I'd add, I'll add Reddit. I'll skim through a couple of posts. And that's where my research ends. But again, maybe one day if I find uh, coconut oil, maybe I will try it. Take the cards. I can't take them because I don't have space to take those cards. As you saw yourself, every... couple of waves. I tried to pick them up, but I didn't have space to pick up those cards. However, speaking of oil and coconut oil, I have a different story. So once, maybe three years ago, four years ago, I bought coconut oil. It was in a jar. It wasn't like liquid coconut oil. It was... Uh, Coconut oil, like, with the honey consistency. It was pretty thick. And I think it was meant for hair. I think it was said, like, coconut oil for your hair. And I washed my hair with that coconut oil. Never, ever, ever wash your hair with coconut oil. I think I spent, like, two hours just cleaning the hair from oil. I washed my hair with soap like an insane amount of times. And at the end, it was still oily. Coconut butter. Maybe coconut butter. Yeah, I think it was coconut butter. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. All I know is that it was ridiculous. So don't use coconut butter on your hair. Even though the jar says that you should use it. Don't use it. Maybe it'll work better for you. 
what hair says water bottle. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't have hair. I get it. What hair? <laughs> Very funny water bottle. Thank you. Thank you, water bottle, for being a comedian. We need more people like you in the world. Thank you, water bottle. Thanks, water bottle. Yeah, let's get the the ride zombies. For some reason I read it as a pet zombie. Why don't we have a pet zombie? Wouldn't that be awesome? Maybe that would be awesome. How was the new update of Last Center? It's a, it's an amazing update, life changing. I finally see with different colors. One of the best updates. The update of all time. Okay, let's start another wave. How are you, Kyrick? Kyrick is great. Kyrick is feeling amazing. A friendly zombie would be wild. Forget multiplayer features. Yup. A friendly zombie. That's all I want. We don't need any multiplayer. We don't need any... Anything else. No bunker Charlies. We need a pet zombie. So far, zero blue. It's already wave 18 and zero blue cards. Love from Pakistan. Thank you, guys. Uh, shout out to all Pakistani viewers. Pakistanis, I have no idea. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And we're going to get the spread shot. What is the best location you recommend? Bunker Alpha. Also, make sure to check out the everything you need to know about last Under 12 video. Link is in the description. best location sure said no one ever nobody likes the motel there are a couple of people that like the motel but they're the same people that say that I've been playing this game for six years and I have three guns so that's it if you want to be that player then sure keep clearing the motel if you want to move up the food chain then start bearing Bunker Alpha. That's it. Um. Oh no, I missed that spread shot. Completely, completely missed it. Okay, let's try to do a few more waves. And then we'll do a few more. All the way. Until we do 99 waves. Plus my armor is about to break. However, we can do a few more waves. Before we change the armor. Okay, I'll wait until the spread shot charges. Maybe I'll be able to spread shot all of those uh, four zombies. There we go. It worked kind of well. In what locations are guaranteed chopper wheels? None. 
Keep clearing Bunker Alpha, keep opening up yellow and red crates, keep clearing the farm location. Open up the barn, uh, in that barn there will be the chopper, and maybe there you'll get the wheels, the forks, the engines, whatever you need. The, the gas tanks. So eventually you'll get it, there are no guaranteed ways of getting it, but... Just keep opening up those crates that I just mentioned, and... Eventually you will get it. How do we get a tactical backpack? You can spin the caps in the transport hub, in the gas station, sorry, and you can get the thing there. The backpack, you can do the arena event, and maybe from the arena event you will get uh, three of those special forces packs, and then you'll have a 50% chance of getting it, and then if you clear the arena again, next time you should be getting that tactical backpack for sure. And maybe there are some other ways to get that tactical backpack, but these are all the ways that I remember right now. Sorry, how do I craft that armor? That's a great question. You can craft that armor from the blueprints menu. You can get grass, pieces of cloth and rope in basically every zone. You can get that stuff from green zones and you can craft that armor. If you have any other questions, let me know. Have you bought avocados today? Nope. I bought them a few days ago, but today I did eat... Uh, ...some avocado. Paid half of an avocado. That was buggers. I basically live on avocados. Not really. Eat about, like, maybe two avocados a week. The guy who saved me. I'm subscribing for the top tips and tricks. Thank you for being here. I'm glad you enjoyed that uh, that armor tip and trick. I haven't seen the backpack at the gas station in a long time. Somebody tagged me on Discord and said that they've gotten that backpack. So I assume that it's still possible to get it. So thanks to whoever tagged, tagged me on Discord. If you're watching it right now, thank you. Sorry, I do not remember the name. But thanks for the tag. Now I know it is possible. Any pictures for us to show today? Nope. I do not have any new pictures. I have nothing new. Didn't touch grass today. What's the taste of an avocado? It tastes like an avocado. I guess that would be the best way to explain the taste. Avocado tastes like an avocado. It's like what, wave 20 something? And we've gotten already four blue. Wave 32, kind of nice. An okay amount of blue cards. Did I break one of the grenade launchers? I probably have. Probably have broken that grenade launcher. Avocado is disappointing if you don't season it properly. Yep. Where can you get the grenade launchers from? By clearing hard mode bunker alpha, you can open up floppy crates. When you get those flappy crates, you have a chance to get those grenade launchers. They are pretty rare though, so it's not that easy to get a grenade launcher, but if you get it, then congrats.
What room can you get chopper parts? You get chopper parts from yellow and uh, red crates. So you have to clear all the rooms. You get the coupons and then you open up crates with those coupons. That's where you get the chopper parts from. Please suggest best ways to find chopper parts. As I said, bunker alpha and open up yellow and red crates. And check out everything you need to know about Last on Earth and the free to play Let's Play. All the links are in the description. You can get MGLs from the gas station too. Yes, you can also get MGLs by spinning caps. That is absolutely true. No Elden Ring soon. I think they will be releasing some sort of an Elden Ring DLC. Is it a free DLC? I don't even know. What I do know, though, is that why play Elden Ring when there is Last Day on Earth? There's a poll right now. What is better, uh, Elden Ring, Last Day on Earth, Survival, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Paul will decide. It's going to be a $70 DLC. Is it a $70 DLC? I'm not really sure. I've heard that some sort of a game is going to be releasing a DLC and it is, it's a free DLC. So, I don't know. I thought it's the Elden Ring DLC. What about zombies using guns? You would really want zombies to use guns in this game. Are you nuts? When was the last time you listened to yourself? Gangster zombies using guns. That's exactly what we need. How did Last Night not get the game of the year? I'm confused. I'm confused as well. I could suppose it should have been game of the decade. Not only game of the year. Start another wave. Game of the century. Yeah. The best game ever. By gods, for gods. Last on Earth 2, maybe game of the year. I wouldn't even mind LDOE 2. Like, if there are some issues with the game, maybe the, the game engine is bad or something, because occasionally they say that, oh, we cannot add new updates because blah, 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 problems, etc. I wouldn't mind them making Last in Earth 2. With a better engine. Maybe. I don't know. People voting for Last Night over Elden Ring are delusional, says Douglas Porter. Welcome to the stream, Douglas. Excuse me, sir. Did you just call everybody delusional? Mr. Last Night is the best game ever created. Nothing can beat Last Night. And for that reason, ladies and gentlemen, we don't really play anything else here. That's why we stick to Last on Earth. Well, until Last on Earth is alive. Last on Earth isn't going to be alive forever. I've made peace with that. Like, I think this year, 2024, was the year where I made peace that Last on Earth isn't going to be around forever. And every day I'm making peace with that. For the, like, past many years, I was like, okay, I want Last Night to last forever. I want it to last forever. But, like, this year, I was like, okay, it's not going to last forever. So, I almost made peace with that. 
I don't know how longer it'll last. Maybe one more year. I have no idea. But how longer it'll last, I mean, how longer it'll be here on the channel. Because they haven't released new updates in a very long time. The last update was a disappointment. So we'll see. I'll wait for new news. I'll wait for a couple of extra new updates. But, uh... I feel like soon we'll have to pack the bags. Unless there's uh, some sort of a new epic update. Why don't, you, why don't you use the last piece of grenade launcher? Because we can repair it. We can repair the grenade launcher with the VAP. Unless, you know what, they release the helicopter. Then we're staying for, for forever here. Change the armor. Yep, we definitely have to change the armor now. If the helicopter comes out. It comes out, Last Earth will be here forever. Last Earth will never die. Will you play Last Earth till you and your 60s? Yes. Kefir's mini life tournament game looks so fun. It's... It does look fun. However, they stopped the project. Today they announced that mini life tournament will close on May 20th or something like that. So the servers will close on May 20th. I'll be playing LDOE in my grave, yep. I want to be buried with my phone just so that I could play LDOE there. Imagine even after death, you still have to grind last day on Earth. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, let's get the coupons. What will come first, GTA 6 or the helicopter? I've already said that a few times, but I think GTA 6 is going to come out before the helicopter. <laughs> there better be Wi-Fi in the afterlife. Yep. I mean, there has to be. Otherwise, how are you going to play last and earth? But Tyrek, it's a single player game. Why would it need Wi-Fi? It needs Wi-Fi. Do you think you can avoid data collection in your afterlife? Nah. What is the best location? Bunker Alpha, Transport Hub? Uh, Bunker Alpha is great. Transport Hub is great. How many actual blue cards you get from 99 waves? It depends. Sometimes less than 10, sometimes more than 10, sometimes 15. Is there any easy way? to clear Bunker Alpha for new players. Yes, check out the, the Everything You Need to Know video and check out Last and Earth Survival free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. There I clear Bunker Alpha. Or just type Happy Psych Bunker Alpha. Happy Psych Waltrick or whatever, and there will be videos. What list of videos do you recommend to watch for early players? I've just literally answered that question like a second ago. No clone Cyric voice. Nope. Okay, the grenade launcher is about a break. Let's get another one. And after this, I think we'll have to start using grenades. Yeah, we're gonna start using grenades.
I think we can do a few more waves before we pick up the cards. Because for those who don't know, if you don't pick up the cards, they will despawn. There's only a limited amount of dead bodies that can be on the map. And when you reach that limit, I don't know what's the limit, the cards start despawning. Watch every single last in our video Sayak made non-stop, including the stream, says insane. Yep. And then you'll learn everything. No, but check out the free-to-play playlist. You'll learn most of the things there. Also, check out everything you need to know about Last Enter. It'll get you started. Um, where is the grenade launcher? There we go. There it is. Let's begin the adventure. Imagine those riot shield were the same as Bunker, bravo. Aren't they the same? As in Bunker, bravo? I feel like these riot shielded zombies are the same like in Bunker, bravo. I think they have the same amount of armor and everything. Finally, after playing LDE for five years, my base is maxed now. Your goal is to max your uh, settlement. And what about your sector seven, the crater? Have you maxed out the crater? What's your business level in the crater? There's still lots of things to grind. Don't give up. Head up and keep grinding. Like also teaches important life lessons such as financial advice and nutritional advice. Yep. Eat chips. Drink oil. To get more calories. Sell kidneys and buy last earth coins. If you need any more advice, let me know. I'll teach you guys. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Okay, that's it. We are out of grenade launchers. Do we just use grenades or do we get more grenade launchers from here? Um, okay, let's get probably more grenade launchers from here. I want to put these broken ones. Oh, I did have more grenade launchers in the box. I didn't even see that. There we go. We had three more grenade launchers. Okay, let's continue the journey. Let's do it. Stay in drugs, don't do schools, as it say. I did not say that. I don't confirm that statement. However, ladies and gentlemen, I just remembered something. I just saw something. So some of you might already know this, but some of you might not know that, but the developers have added... A few years ago, they've added a Happy Cyric Easter Egg here. Have you seen that Happy Cyric Easter Egg? Some of you have seen it, but I'm pretty sure some of you have not seen that Happy Cyric Easter Egg. Collect the cars, they disappear. Don't worry, homie. They don't disappear yet. The backpack. Nah, nah, the Cyric Easter egg is in the backpack. So wait, I'm going to pick up these cards. So a huge shout out to the devs for adding Happy Cyric here. Thanks for this awesome Easter egg. Thank you, devs. Very cool. That's the Happy Cyric Easter egg. Thank you. They finally added me to the game. I'm glad to be part of Last Enter. Thank you, devs. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, let's... 
let's do a few more waves. I got a St. Patrick's hat. Very nice. Congrats. Oh, my goodness. I knew that I just saw the armor and... Uh, well, it is what it is. Luckily, we can still come back and continue the waves. Everything's all right. I thought you were actually being serious at first. Why don't you think I am serious? I am being serious. He bamboozled us for real. I wish it was a bamboozle. Is the music in the background or in the game? It's in the background. It's not in the game. I can pause the music here. Boop. And it keeps going now. What is the worst location in the game? The laboratory. I'd probably say the laboratory is the worst because it'll take a lot of resources. However, it is more fun to clear than the abandoned factory. So if I had to choose the worst, the worst location, not the event, but the location. And we're not going to count Bunker Charlie and uh, the other locations. Maybe Dead Island is the worst one. Dead Island or Sand Quarry. Perhaps these two are the most useless ones. Dead Island or the, the Sand Quarry. Do you have a personal playlist? Personal playlist? You mean like music playlist? These are mostly the songs from last and Earth official soundtrack from the SoundCloud. Link is in the description where you can find those. What is the best location? Well, you guys already know what's the best location. It's Bud Alpha. Crater is by default the worst. Crater is also pretty bad. However, there is some content, at least, in the crater. It's called Dead Island for a reason, yep. Tank is out of touch. Dead Island has titanium. Cool. What, what are you going to do with that titanium? There's nothing you can do with it. It's like I got my cap machine last night, and now I refreshed it, and it has reinforced... And it has the reinforced room with bricks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If Once you finish the Leprechaun's Lock event, you get this broken slot machine, you can refresh it, and then you can get the brick room at the end. But for that, you do need a lot of caps. Chat as a subscriber, three dots. I'm a little bit confused. What is that supposed to mean? Why three dots? What chat as a subscriber? What does that mean? Did you donate a lot of money in this game? All of the money that I have. I live in a box right now. To be this level, having everything almost. Yes. I gave everything I have to have everything in the game. I sold my kidney. they add game you can drive your ATV. What? Would be cool to drive the ATV. I sold my heart to buy the season pass. Heart is overrated anyways. So that was a wise choice. I sold it for $9.99. You didn't even get that 999. You just got the season pass. Bro, I'll give you my account with the season pass. Idea armor mods. Maybe it would be cool. Like whatever new content they add to the game is probably better than nothing. Armor mods, sure. I don't think like we actually need those, but why not? If they're obtainable, if these are like Drone mods, then what's the point? Some mods don't make any sense. They added too many mods. I think there should have been a different approach to those mods. 
there should have been just like a couple of maybe it's cool that hey you can assemble your m16 with a lot of different mods but it's just confusing and silly everybody just uses the same mods anyways because those are the best ones so why not just release the good mods and that's it why release 16 different red dots red dot a green dot a blue dot a purple dot here's a new stock it'll reduce damage by 50 percent it'll reduce speed by a hundred percent but you'll be able to do one extra shot do you want this mod hmm. maybe assemble it it's only 20 carbon composites be patient and there shall be new content. <laughs> yes. All you have to do, guys, is be patient. It's like, would you try Lethal Company? I haven't played Lethal Company. I haven't even seen a lot of videos on Lethal Company. I'm not even 100% sure what that game is about. But yes, I wanted to try Lethal Company. We have a decent amount of blue cards. We have 12 blue on wave 80. That's pretty sick, in my humble opinion. So he's been patient for six years. Now look at him, he's rich. We do have a decent amount of guns, yes. So all you guys have to do, be patient and you will get your helicopter as well. Read my last comment, I'm concerned for you. Uh, I need to find it then. No need to be concerned for me. I can't see the comment. Psych, are you a bot? You never talk about your life outside the pink room you live in. Blink twice if you're in trouble. I'm fine. Don't worry, Douglas. I'm all right. Everything's fine. I'm not being held at gun but i mean what am i gonna say about my life like nobody that's the point nobody asks anything about my life what am i gonna say here people ask well, how to get guns how to get uh chopper part how to get other things like nobody cares nobody needs to know anything and i think i've spoken plenty about my life it's like where you're from i'm from lithuania born and raised in lithuania i live now in france there's nothing else i can say about my life i play last on earth god damn it what life can i have Blink three times if you have no problems. Guys, everything's alright. No worry. Don't worry. I've made a few Q&As. I've answered everything there is to answer about my life. People already know everything about me. I play Last Day on Earth. Answering I'm a bot would be quicker and safer. I should have done that probably. But again, then there is no topic. Surix life. Pff, how to get guns, says the A. Exactly. But in all honesty, like, why would you care what happens in life? There's nothing interesting. When something interesting happens, like when I touch grass, I usually show that. Right, I literally have shown me touching grass during like the previous live stream. Like, how is that not sharing my life? Today I poop in the morning. I usually poop every morning. So there's that. I peed a couple of times. I could probably even count how many times I peed. Uh, five maybe times? I don't know. A decent amount of times. Because that's a nice... Topic. <laughs> 
do you feel French? Do I feel French? What is French? Now that is good content, says Douglas. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Um, relationships, day job, how to live in France without speaking French, says uh, Leah W. Uh, I have a girlfriend. I do not have a day job. My day job is last day on earth. And how to live in France without speaking French? Uh, you have to work from home. If you want to do anything else, then you have to learn the language. In my opinion, if you want to live in a country without speaking the language, that's pretty rude. You should know the language. However, I am learning little by little. But yeah, as I said, I mostly stay at home. I don't need to go outside. And if I do need to ask anything, I can ask. Okay, this one is broken. Let's get one more grenade launcher and let's do a few more waves. Sykes lives like a hermit. Uh, Sykes doesn't live like a hermit. To how many people? How many people do you communicate with if? How many people would you communicate with if it wasn't for work? Or family? It's not like you go outside and you talk to randoms. Maybe some of you do, but I think most of the people don't go randomly outside to talk to randoms. Stupid zombie with a shield. If you have destroyer, then can you please show how it works? No. Because I don't have it and I have no clue what's the destroyer. Don't have the slightest clue. You're already at 16 blue. That's a lot of blue cards. You don't always get that many blue cards. There are 17 blue. Sick. I talk to the straight cats and dogs. Also birds. Uh, that's fine. You're totally normal. Don't worry about it. Again, ladies and gentlemen. Again. <laughs> Equipment upgrades. Zombies turned out to be stronger, strengthening their protection for $5.99. Thanks, game. Thank you. Very cool. Why go outside and talk to randoms when I can come to stream and do that? Yeah, I mean, nobody goes outside and talks to randoms. Like, some people do, I believe, but, like, re uh, really, like, nobody goes outside and talks to randoms. So I still believe you should know the language of the country you live in. Like, absolutely. Absolutely. 
but in my case, I didn't really have to use it at all. I didn't have to learn it. I'm still planning to learn it. I'm still learning it. But I don't rush it because I don't have to... To go outside and talk to people. If I had to work here, that would be another... Story. Goes to a shop and stares at the staff. I don't talk to random people. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna go to the store, like what, you're gonna talk to the staff there? Like, what are you gonna ask them? If I need to ask something, I can ask something. Um, let's get this. Let's get another set of armor. And let's do nine more waves or eight more waves or whatever. Just move to America. You already have the language. I'd actually love to live in US. However, it's not happening. Moving to US is going to be very difficult. Like you need to have visas and all the other things. Uh, second of all, I do not have the finances to move to US because that'll be like very, very, very expensive. So yeah, those really, those are the main uh, probably problems, I guess. Also, it's already difficult for me to see my family. Uh, they are already like 2,500 kilometers away from me. Kilometers to miles. Uh, that's 1,500 miles. So it already takes a long time to just get to them. Let's go to another wave. Well, almost died. I'm glad that I saw that I didn't have enough health. I survived. Okay, let's do a few more waves and then we're done. But yeah, living in the US would be cool. I do like the language. I would love to improve the accent. And I think the best way to improve it would be to live in US and talk to people there. However, it is what it is. I don't mind here. I like the weather. I'm pretty sure if you move like to US, US also has great weather in some places. Like I was watching your last of a series, you still haven't uploaded the last part. I have the last of a series. I have older the last of a series where I finished. So make sure to check out those. Stupid ride zombies. So that's it, that's the last wave. Oh my goodness. And I died on the last wave! Is that a coincidence? 
I have no idea. Do you have multiple passports or just Lithuanian? Just Lithuanian. Like, I don't even have a passport. No, I do have a passport. Do I have a passport? I think we should be able to do that last wave again. This is the most I've seen you die doing 99 waves. I think so. I think this is my third time dying. So we did die a lot today. Sick. Don't move to the US. Don't worry, I'm not moving. No worries, homie. Okay, where's my dead body? Okay, there it is. There it is. Let's get another grenade launcher. Oh, this and a stack of first aid kits, and I think we can begin. But die, die. That's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. We can actually die right now, and then we can kill those zombies again, and we can get more cards, but I don't think I'll be doing that. Wait, I'm actually... Wait, I do not want to die. I got kind of lost. Okay, let's get... All of that. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We have cleared 99 waves. Do French people speak English? I think same as in every other country. Some people do, some people don't. Okay, let's get the green cards. And now... So we've got a 19 blue. Not too shabby. Now let's exchange everything for blue. Now we have 29 blue and 4 green. When you clear 99 waves with grenade launchers and other stuff, just save your green cards and open up the green cards as you'll get a lot of loot that way. Now, how am I going to bring everything back to the base? We'll need to do a couple of trips. So let's do a few trips. Let's bring everything back to the base. And then let's open up a couple of blue and purple crates. When are you going to finish this game? Says no row. I don't think you can finish this game. This game has no ending. I mean, in general, are they comfortable using English when needed? I guess like in every other country, like some people, as I said, some people know French, some people don't know French. If they know French, they will, if they know English, they will use English here. If they don't speak English, they won't be comfortable to use English because they do not speak English. So people that speak English in Lithuania and in France, I'd say the same. Kind of. It's not like I have spoken to hundreds of people in Lithuania. I mean, in Lithuania, I've probably st talked to hundreds of people. Well, you got the point. Some people speak, some people don't. Cards go there. Have you met any Lithuanian people in France? Nope. 
I did see some, I did hear some people speak Polish or Russian, but I didn't see a single Lithuanian in France. This, and now let's try to drop all of the guns in the crates. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna get the rest of the loot. Did you think? Touch grass today, nope. Didn't have a chance to touch grass. I was outside, but it didn't touch grass. Let's go back to the PD and let's get the rest of the... the things. When you think, do you think in English, Lithuanian, or French? What do you mean? You, you listed only three languages here. As if that's all I speak. Where's Polish? Where's Russian? Mostly when I think I try to just think English. I usually think in English. However, I do sometimes think in, in my native language, which isn't Polish or Lithuanian or Russian. It's a mix of those three kind of broken Polish. That's what I would say. That's my native language, broken Polish. Oh wow, I still have one more armor set. I'll get it. Do French cats meow in French? I have no idea. I think cats can communicate across different countries. They don't need to know the language. My girlfriend has a French cat and she came to Lithuania with a French cat and the French cat could talk to uh, non-French uh, Lithuanian cats and they were fine. I guess. I don't know. I don't speak cat, so I couldn't confirm or deny anything. Can you recreate the Drake's video? You mean the leak? <laughs> Perhaps. Oh lord, all of the grenade launchers won't fit here. Or maybe they will fit. There we go, they do fit. Let's drop the first aid kits. Before we do any raids the purple cards that's what we gotta do gotta open up the purple cards the inventory sorted out let's get now i don't know two purple that's the purge. Three purple, ladies and gentlemen. Are we gonna open up three purple? Hell yeah, so three purple and two blue. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, three purple and two blue. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just buckle up. Why? Why not? That's literally the answer, why not? <laughs> Bro was swinging it like a rope. Yep. Far purple, you have enough green, says Infinity Swift. Bruh. 
Three purple it is. I'm gonna open up just three purple. What do you mean four purple? Let's open up the four purple then. I said I'm gonna open up four purple. Where are you, day or night? In France, we have days and nights. I know, it's shocking. So I need 30... 30 green, that'll be four purple. I can get five purple. Just opening up five purple cards. That'll be five purple, no? Yes, that'll be five purple in total. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to open up just five purple. Make it five purple. Yep, we're opening up five purple, ladies and gentlemen. So smash like, smash subscribe. Or you don't have to smash like, smash subscribe. It doesn't matter. I'm opening up five purple regardless. Because why wouldn't we open up five purple? It's not worth it. Sure, buddy. Sure. Already liked and subscribed. Thank you. I'm guessing you'll get nothing out of those five purple. We will get 20 guns. Which is uh, nice, but I'm pretty sure I've spent more than 20 guns today. So I spent, let's say, 40 guns and I'm going to get 20 guns in return. So in total, I've deleted 20 guns. So I didn't literally delete guns, but we did delete guns by opening up purple cards. So let's exchange everything for blue. And now all the blue for purple, ladies and gentlemen. Five purple. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, and five. And <laughs> that's it. Let's see. So here we've gotten a, a flare gun. Almost called it a Winchester. That's sad. Flare guns are kind of trash. At least no flare guns here. We've gotten the Glock silencer. We've also gotten the tactical upgrade for the Uzi. We've gotten another triple muzzle break for the Scar. And we've gotten a Winchester in the fourth crate, plus the side times four upgrade for the M16. And no Winchesters, but the tactical upgrade for the Uzi. Wait, isn't it another tactical upgrade? I think we've gotten two tactical upgrades for the Uzi. Yep, we've gotten two tactical upgrades. And a decent amount of guns. However, not 20 guns because the flare gun is no longer a gun in my opinion. And the Winchester also isn't a gun. It's pretty good. It's low-key melee weapon. How am I going to bring all of this loot back to the base? I'll probably have to do a couple of trips. It's like, doesn't even get exci excited about it anymore. What will I be excited about? I just deleted 30 guns here. Like, purple cards aren't exciting. Why would I be excited about that? I am a machine. I don't have feelings. It doesn't matter if it's exciting or not exciting. Oh, wow. We have gotten the tactical upgrade for the... For the Uzi. I am very excited. Wow. There we go. That's excitement, ladies and gentlemen. That's real excitement that you can't replicate. That's so you know it's real. Mm. And it's not the first time of me opening up these purple cards. You know how many times I've opened up those purple cards? A lot of times. Okay, let's go back to the base. Let's bring the loot and then let's come back. For the wait, there's one one more extra SWAT set and that's it. Yeah, there's only one more SWAT set left. So I'll get that SWAT set uh, later. Too much emotion, chill out, Cyric. I'm sorry, DA. I did. I was too excited here. Ten out of ten excitement. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. I do have a question for you, Cyric. I also use purple cards for weapon blueprints, but I never get any purple melee weapons. Spear, ha uh, hammer, machetes. Is it normal or just unlucky? You get most of the melee blueprints from the farm. 
So you gotta clear the farm, and if you're lucky, you'll get a purple blueprint there. That's how you get purple blueprints. Uh, but yeah, the PD isn't really gonna give you a purple melee blueprints. There are some melee blueprints that you can get from the PD, but most of the purple blueprints you get from the farm. Like, I think the engine, uh, Sawblade Mace engine mod can be gotten from the PD. The purple machete blade mod, I think, can also be gotten from the PD, but I'm not sure. You forgot 15 caps, I... Nah, I did not. Wait, did I forget the 15 caps? We're gonna go back and get those 15 caps right now, then. I did forget the 15 caps. I did forget the 15 caps, because I should have uh, gotten 75 caps. Life is ruined. I'm gonna store these winch... Uh, uh, the flare guns here. Uh, caps, steel, let's drop the armor. So I should have warned, do not try this at home. I should have. It's too late now. We've opened up the purple cards. I thought we have more guns. Just got, we just got a bunch of armor and that's it. So, this goes here, and this goes here, and that's it, the chests are already full, how on earth are they full? Did I get more guns than I used? Yeah, apparently. How is that possible? Okay, that is full, full, full. Okay, I'm gonna store guns in the acid bath for now. Later we'll find some space. We will find a little bit of space. I'll take some guns off you. Make sure to get them. Yes, take them. Okay, let's go back and let's get the 15 caps. And then with those caps, we're gonna go to the gas station because we have like, what now, 150 or something caps? We might as well just spin those while we have the event. The event doesn't really do anything crazy, but we might as well just spin it. And then we have a rate to do. Expand the warehouse. Wish it was possible. Wish you could upgrade the, the warehouse. How does AK grenade launcher work for third floor grenade trick? I have no idea, never used it. Can I leave the rewards from the caps in the box? Will it disappear? I don't think so, it hasn't disappeared for me yet. However, as developers always say, the safest place to store your loot is the base. If one day they decide to remove that box, you lose the loot there. But I do store a lot of loot there, and I've stored loot there, and the loot has never disappeared, so... I guess, feel free to store it. Where are the caps? Oh, there we go, there are the 15 caps. And another set of armor. Sheesh, almost lost that stuff. Now let's spin a couple of these caps, and as I said, after this, we're gonna go and do a raid. We haven't done any raids today, we've just cleared 99 ways, we've opened up some purple cards. We purged a decent amount of guns. Raid, four exclamation marks, this case. yep, we're gonna be doing a raid. However, before the raid, we have caps to spin. Uh, 240 caps. 
During this event, they could have increased the odds of getting jackpots or something. I don't know. Seems like a goop event. But I'm gonna spin my caps regardless. Even on my free-to-play account, I had 300 caps or something. I spun and I got zero. I repeat, zero jackpots. Or maybe I did get a jackpot and I've gotten only an aluminum bar. So that was a scam. Professional cap flipper. Yes, indeed. I'll make sure to put that on my CV. I spun a lot of caps in LDOE. Professional gambler. So I got a gambling addiction. No, I don't. I can stop at any moment I want. And we've gotten just another helmet. Hell yeah, I'm excited! We've gotten a helmet! I had to be excited because somebody would say that, it, they'd, that they'd sell their family for this helmet, because it's a Kevlar helmet. That they'd sell their family and all of their friends for that helmet. So I had to be excited and seem grateful for that helmet, even though we already have a decent amount of helmets and boots! But hey, we spawned some caps, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. I think it's stupid you don't get clovers with jackpot. Yup. That's also stupid. I'm close to reaching level 150 and I want to ask, is it okay to raid with level 3 walls? If you have a lot of level 3 walls? And... Uh... Try to store most of your best loot in the middle of the base. Maybe store some of the looted bunker alpha. Try to build some level one walls around the base. That'll also help out. Some people say that putting bait chests outside also helps to deter raiders from your main loot. So, yeah. Try to raid and enjoy the raids, I guess. Okay, Ravager and three guns to recycle. Okay, let's go. Let's recycle the three guns right now. We could go to the farm and we could quickly clear the farm as well. We should probably do it. Mm, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get the guns and we'll clear the farm with AKs. Today's the purge day after all. Might as well delete a few more AKs. Uh, wait, where do I store guns? Here. Let's recycle a couple of these revolvers. Wait, stone walls are not enough? I am ready to hit level 150 with level 2 walls and some stone. Uh, raiders can destroy level 3 walls. However, it doesn't mean you cannot raid. You can still raid. Just they might steal some loot. But if you have just one, like, level, uh, level three wall, one layer of level three walls, and then you have nothing else inside, then raiders will get to your base. If you have more, if you have multiple layers, if you have some level one, level two walls, if you have more layers, then that should protect the base. I have raided with level three walls and bunch of level one and level two walls, and that was all right. Um, where are the AKs? There we go, we have some of them and some M16s. And a spread shot. Or maybe I'll just use the AK grenade launcher mod. I do not have it, it's the knife mod. I, I, I need to switch it. Doesn't matter, not gonna bother then. I'll get a few spread shots. That's more than enough. Let's get a stack of... I don't like using beans. Because then I get empty cans and it just clutters my inventory. I do not like it.
Did I uh, modify the guns? Yes, they're all modded. I started with a lot of walls and made a small level 3 base in the middle. Yep, that's how I kind of started. Just use bait chests, is that simple? I haven't raided in a long time. I do know back in the days when I had bait chests, they didn't really protect the base a lot. But they also have to steal maybe enough. I don't know, but yeah, just play some chests outside of your base. Leave some spears in them or some whatever other loot. And that should also protect, at least that's what people are saying. So let's quickly clear the farm now. And then we have a raid to do. Do you always get revenge raids? Not always. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You always want to get a revenge raid because then you can get another raid. So you kind of want to have a revenge raid. Unless you don't have any walls, then you don't want to be raided. But most of the time you want to be raided. Just put some decent loot in the base chest like broken guns and armor. Yep. That too. So this is not an efficient way to clear the farm. If you want to know how to clear the farm efficiently, type LDOE Cyric Farm. Or check out everything you need to know about LDOE video. And that video will lead you to other videos in the description there. The everything you need to know video will have videos in the description there. All the other videos that you need to see. How to get them to revenge you. It's just random. You need to wait a while. Usually they attack you after like 24 or something hours. I didn't get any melee weapons for the revenger. No. How dare I waste my M16 on the Revenger? Oh my A road sign. A machete. That's actually pretty nice. I'll get that machete. I use them on the transport hub. Uh, let's craft a couple of bandages. And I still do not have the key. Perhaps here. Nope, the box isn't there. I remember this game had a safe as well. I wonder if anyone uses it. I think you could only buy safes in the store. But they have removed those safes since, so I don't think you can buy any safes. Those safes were only at the very, very beginning of the game. Maybe for like a year or two, I don't know. I don't have a single safe. And you can only store like, what, four or five items in the safe? But raiders cannot open the safe. I got a safe when I did the acts. I use it. How did you get a safe from the acts? Or around those acts. I don't know. I still don't have a safe. Would be cool if we could build them with titanium, maybe. Like, they could be very expensive, but hey, at least you know what? We could build those safes with titanium. Are they here? Can you see those safes in the building menu? I don't think so. Oh, there is a safe. For that, you obviously need tungsten. Oh, it says for keeping five most valuable things, so it's uh, five, not four. In any case, it would be cool if we could build those safes with titanium. But uh, here we are, they released titanium and we have nothing to do with that titanium. So here, guys, you can get chopper parts. You clear the farm and here you can get some chopper parts, like a chopper wheel or whatever else. But as I said, that's not how you clear the farm. Check out the efficient way on how to clear the farm. 
link is in the description to check out the everything you need to know about LDOE. Let's kill these savage giants. We don't really have a lot of them. There's only got three, four. So might as well just kill all of them. And open up the crate. And let's see. Okay, we've gotten a machete blueprint bone handle, which is a nice blueprint for the machete. Except we already have it. This, the revolver, and some armor, and ten caps only. I'm going to bring these valuable survivor notes back to the base because if one day we get more levels, those valuable survivor notes are actually quite valuable. I played this game for so long and I still only have a 3x8 base. Metal, obviously. That's a pretty big base. 3x8 metal base is pretty big. You can store 24 racks. So it's a decent amount of uh, racks, a decent amount of protected chests. You forgot to loot the house. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I'm going to go back later to, to loot that house. It is too late now. We're back at the base. We are getting ready to do the raid. I'm gonna drop the valuable diaries here. How many diaries we got? Four only? No way. I'm sure there's gotta be a chest where I have more of those diaries. There's no way I only got four. Um, nothing. Where do I store my diaries? There's gotta be a box with diaries. I don't wanna spend too much time searching for them, but I'm almost certain that I have more than just four diaries in bookshelves. There we go. That's where they are. There we go, we have 44 diaries here, and plus we have a decent amount of diaries in the inbox. I put a recycler in there too, but I expanded the base today. So it's like 8 by 8 metal. Very nice, congrats on your base. Gooper. Go back to the doggo crate. Slow down, you make me dizzy, excuse me. I'm confused. Another melee weapon there. The food items go up here. And the garbage goes there. There we go. Now we can start the raid. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, free to play. Yes, welcome to my free to play account. Let's start the raid. Do you like chocolate chip cookies? Chocolate chip cookies? Yes. I'm pretty sure I have a bag of chocolate chip cookies right now at home. So I do like chocolate chip cookies. That's my pre-workout. A chocolate chip cookie. Uh, okay, that stuff fits. Let's get two Glocks. Is this game still fun even though you almost never stopped playing it? I stopped playing it for five months and I came back and it's still an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling. I love Last and Earth Survival. I, I love Last and Earth Survival. 
Wait, I'm gonna redo the joke. I'm I'm not really sure. I'm not enjoying last. I'm actually I I love last on Earth survival. Last on Earth survival is the best. I love last on Earth survival. Last on Earth survival is amazing. My favorite game of all time. Paid actor. Yep. That being held by on by gunpoint. I love last in Earth survival. Will you ever live stream Project Zomboid again? Perhaps, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Um, you're running, running low on wood. Yep. Might as well delete last on earth. We got the pills here. We can always get more wood. Let's start the raid. Why don't you need C4s? I did get one C4. Should be enough. If we need more, we have more C4s in the inbox. Paid actor without the payment and suspicious acting. Yep. <laughs> That's me. Uh, I missed emotions, says Rudy. What emotions? LDOE raid Dien Yank. Hell yeah. What a sick raid. The name is so complicated. The base is even more complicated than the name, actually. I can't believe it. My, my brain hurts. Well, my brain hurts, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I wanted to turn on the sound. I think I know how to enter the base then. How to get more wood from pills. Or oh, maybe chat can explain that. I don't think I'm qualified to explain that. Showed the sneak peeks of this. It was a mistake. I wasn't supposed to show anything. I accidentally clicked it. Okay, I think I know how to enter the base. Let's uh, go and let's uh, raid it. How did your character just eat like 16 steaks in less than five seconds? He was hungry, I guess. The dude was hungry. My day is immeasurably ruined, says Rudy. Why is your day immeasurably ruined? Oh, the dude left me empty bottles. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. Those were mini steaks. Yep. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna bring those 10 bottles with me. It's fine. And let's go now to the top and let's place a C4. Oh, wow. drop. Wait, I can't go through here. Excuse me. Can I just drop a C4 then? Will I still be able to get inside of the base? Hopefully. 
Yes, now I can place one more C4, except I do not have it. We gotta go inside of the inbox. And I think I can place one more C4. Not really sure if I need it, but hey, we are here already. I might as well just use another C4. What does survivor path end when you kill a boss in transport hub? Like, why? I don't know. I do not have the slightest clue why. Before we used to have acts and acts were a bit better. Now instead of acts, we have this. So now let's deal with the wave of zombies and then we'll place another C4. And we'll open up a few more chests. Did I get that C4? Yes, I did. I'll wake up at 6 in the morning. I had a terrible day at work. I come back to see a 57-year-old Viking molding over children's game and the chat spamming nuisance. What am I doing with my life, says Water Bottle. Mwah. That's it. 57. I am 57. Thanks, homie. I'm actually 67, but thank you for making me feel younger. molding i'm not molding over the children's game what did i do what where was i molding today i didn't do anything i wasn't screaming i didn't have any emotional breakdowns what do you mean molding today was the calmest live stream that i've had in a long time what do you mean molding Uh, the Z cards. We'll obviously take those. Because Dragon Ball Z was the best, am I right? So we gotta get those Z cards. The most calm live stream. Yep, the calmest live stream that I've... That I've had in a long time. Nobody said anything crazy in the chat. I didn't lose my mind over it. I didn't... Wait, I still think I have that... D during the previous live stream, I had to eat. Uh, I threw away and chewed up and spit, spat out a piece of paper with uh, one of trash ideas. I didn't do any of that today. In any case, maybe I am molding. Fifty-seven year old guys, I'm not fifty-seven. Stop it. Some dude on on Discord was like uh, talking with the other guy, like blah blah blah. How old do you think is Cyric? I believe he's thirty-five. What do you mean you believe he's thirty-five? He just pulled out that number out of your ass. Like I'm not thirty-five. What did they give me? Like plus extra ten years or twenty years? What did I do to deserve this? That's what last dinner does to you. Okay, let's start opening up the crates. Uh, maybe let's go to the chopper though. Let's drop some loot in the chopper. How there is a wave of zombies? Like, what? If I hide here. Oh, they don't go through the ATV. Sick. Too late, man. Uh, took you too long to object, which actually confirms you're in your late 50s. It's fine, I'm in my late 50s. Talking about ideas, what do you think of a daily task or a weekly task system on the game? Whoa! What? That would be insane! I would love to see that! What a great idea! Thank you for sharing this idea with us. Thank you. 
It's it's an insane idea. What a great idea. Okay, let's go back. Maybe that's why you always complain about your knees. I haven't complained about my knees in a while. However, my back is a broken spinal, ladies and gentlemen. Knees are fine after going to the gym. Found some nice exercises and I guess knees are fine, but back on the other hand. Like sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't hurt. Sometimes it hurts too much and sometimes the pain disappears and sometimes it doesn't disappear. I don't know in any case. It is what it is. I'm gonna start opening up these chests. And the big one will spawn here, zip gun. Hell yeah, come to me. Uh, the big one is just spawned, let's go up here. Zip gun in the extra pocket. Have you ever had a zip gun in your extra pocket? Oh, we're here only right now. Okay, let's heal up again. Uh, what do we have? Thick cloth and garbage. Uh, iron, this, this, this. Okay, let's go outside. This is a nice raid, even though we're not getting a lot of loot, but I like this raid. Like doing spin class with the other 50, 70, 57 year old. What do you mean spin class? What's a spin class? Drop the generator, idiot! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die, won't I? Imagine I blocked the way with these generators. Maybe due to excessive settings, says Anjane. Yep. Guess I should be standing. I think we've opened all the chests, ladies and gents. I don't think there are any more chests. There's actually one more chest on the side. So I'll wait until the dude spawns. However, I do get a lot of damage already from this guy. Not that much, actually. One, two, three, and uh, planks. Cool. Okay, that's it. Let's leave this raid. So this raid gets Ix approval regardless of the loot. Because it was a fun raid to raid. Every time you get to raid for a bit longer, it's always fun. So this raid had content, I would say. Right? Content-wise, this base is like an 8 out of 10. Loot-wise, it has oh, it had okay loot, like 3, 4 out of 10. Maybe. I don't know. Last, Sack's been carrying LDE for years. I'm amazed he can still walk. This is insane. Me too. Back is broken from carrying LDE. That's a good one. So now let's try to drop the whatever goop we have here. Now we just have to sort it out. 57 year old. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with being 57, by the way. But I'm not 57. I guess it gets worse. The more I argue about it, the worse it is, isn't it? Except your back. It's it doesn't always hurt. It, uh, it doesn't always hurt. It's fine. Sometimes, sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the pain just disappears, like like this. Sometimes it doesn't disappear like this. I don't know. <laughs> it beats being seventy-five. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being seventy-five. We're all gonna, if we all get lucky, we all will be able to survive to seventy-five, right? Nobody's getting younger. <laughs> you would know. Guys, stop it. I promise I'm not a boomer. Is it 
morning or evening. Heck, if I know, the, the room is closed here right now. I don't have the... The curtains are closed, shut. I don't see the daylight. I don't know if it's day or night or evening. I know nothing. What I do know, though, is that I gotta pay the raiders. They aren't sure about your age because of the beard. If you shave it, it'll be easier to tell uh, that you are, in fact, in your late 30s. This is insane. <laughs> Touch grass, bro, says Teko. Okay. My back is fine. Also, sorry, can anybody see my Lido cane? I don't know what's Lido cane. Shave your beard and prove us. I'm not shaving the beard. The beard is the only thing that I, that I have in my life. And even that isn't... Is that amazing? So we will be buckling up, ladies and gentlemen. Who cares, young or old? Can't stop watching your videos, can we? <laughs> but I'm not 57. So we will be buckling up, ladies and gentlemen. Grandpa Sire. Okay, Grandpa Sire is out. Thanks for being here. Take care. Have an amazing... Uh, whatever, Wednesday. You do look kind of like Boomer. Okay. That's sick. That's so we end the live stream. Cyric, you look like a boomer. You're 57. Peace out, Cyric. And that's it. And that's how you leave me here. And I'll have to stay here alone contemplating my life choices. Thanks. Nah, man. Keep the beard. Of course I'm keeping the beard. There's nothing besides the beard. The only thing I got is the beard. If I shave the beard, what else will I have? I have nothing. I'll have to change the haircut, though. Because this haircut is definitely not going to work with the... Doesn't even work now. It's not gonna work without the beard. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be buckling up. Thanks everybody for being here. See you tomorrow. And, uh, peace out, boomers. Take care, everybody.